and our school too is located at number 10, the Lost Street of Obiwale Road, Alele Ibado. My name is Miss Ojari Fe Oluwa. I'm here by my right is Adeshala Adeshala. Hola, Skominupens. Hola, Ole Pizza. Today, let's talk about an exciting and important topic, your future career path. It's like embarking on a dream adventure where you get to choose what you love doing the most. Parents, imagine this. From the very beginning, your child has unique interests and passion. Just like flowers need sunlight to grow, children need love and support to blossom into their true selves. Parents, it is your special task to observe and nurture those interests, guiding your little ones towards a future filled with joy and success. Mr. Peter, what do you have to say about this topic? Well, the journey begins when your child is just a tiny top. Pay attention to what brings a sparkle to the eyes and joy to the earth. It could be military castle creating colorful masterpieces, or even exploring the world through books. These early signs are like little clues about their true passion. Thank you, Mr. Peter. Ms. Shewa, what other thing do you have to say about this topic? I'm going to make it, try to make it clear by starting a story. Imagine a young boy named Alex. From a tender age, he had beaten an extraordinary talent for capturing moments to his toy camera. His eyes sparkled with joy whenever he framed a shot, and his parents, although noticing his passion, dreamt of him becoming a renowned doctor. As the years went by, Alex obediently followed the path that his parents had envisioned for him. As he worked hard, studied medicine, and earned his degree, however, there was a lingering sadness in his eyes. One day, after eight long years of medical school, he mustered the courage to tell his parents the truth. Mom, Dad, he says, I appreciate all the sacrifices you made for me, but my true passion lies in photography. I want to pursue it wholeheartedly. The room fell silent as his parents processed his words. Despite their initial disappointment and confusion, Alex's parents chose to support him in his new foundry. They allowed him to join a photography class. And to everyone's surprise, Alex excelled beyond expectation. His eyes regained the sparkle that has been missing for so long. Looking back, Alex parents realized the importance of recognizing and nurturing a child's true passion. While the journey might have taken a detour, it ultimately led to the child blossoming into a talented photographer. The eight years spent studying medicine wasn't wasted. There were valuable lessons about the significance of following one's heart. Parents, the story of Alex is a reminder that forcing a career upon a child can still show their true potential. Let's be open to understanding our children's passion and providing the support they need to flourish. Thank you for that, Miss Shewa. Let me add to that. Instead of imposing your own dreams on them, take the time to understand and appreciate what your child loves. Imagine if a sunflower were forced to grow in the shade. It wouldn't flourish. Similarly, pushing a child into a career just because it seems lucrative or aligns with your desires might hinder their true potentials. Mr. Peter, what is your advice you have for our parents today? Well, encourage their curiosity, be it science, art, sport, or any other field. By doing so, you're not just helping them discover their interests, but also teaching them the value of passion and dedication. Remember, a successful and fulfilling career is not just about making money. It's about waking up every day excited about what you do. Guide your child towards a path where they can find that excitement, where their work doesn't feel like a burden, but a joyful journey. In conclusion, shaping a child's career path is about understanding their passions and supporting their dreams. It's a journey of discovery where parents play the crucial role of guides and nurturers. Let's ensure that every child has the chance to bloom into their true selves, 
guiding them towards a future filled with joy and fulfillment. Thank you for tuning in, dear primary pupils, friends, and parents. Remember, the key to a bright future is in your hands. Nurture those dreams and watch them flourish. Once again, my name is Miss Ojari Fe, and here by my right is Adeshala Adeshala. Let's come in the pairs. Allow a pizza. Thank you. We'll see you next time. My name is Paul Olawale. Paul Olawale.